Hey guys, Coleman again here. About to go over a uh, replay against the muzzle. This was from the ladder. Alright, so the map is Daybreak. I would say it's a pretty balanced map, but if anything, I think it favors Protoss. Uh, Protoss usually excels in the late game, so any map that is large and allows them to get to that late game uh, is usually a pretty good map for Protoss. So it has that easy third. Um, it can be somewhat easy to drop the main due to all the air space, but uh, if you're using observers correctly, you should know if it's coming. So it's not too bad. So, um, PVT, I've been watching a lot of Parting's GSL play. Um, he recently defeated a few Terrans. Um, and his PVT seems really good, so I've been copying a few of his builds and trying them out. Um, here I do a one gate, no cyber core expansion, um, as you will see here in just a second. On big maps like this, I think it's a really good build. Um, smaller maps, I'm not sure if I feel comfortable with my micro and timing knowledge to hold off all the all-ins and uh, random plays they can do, so um, I just do it on big maps. So I'll 15 gate here in a second. Doesn't really matter when you put your gate down, you could 14 gate, you know, 17 gate. Doesn't really matter. You're not playing to use it for a while anyway. So I'm just going to keep chrono boosting away. I'm not going to scout yet. Now on 17, I'll grab a gas and then head down to my expansion. Shortly. So PVT at the higher level, uh, the Terran is usually no gas expo, almost I'd say 90% of the time, um, so you can definitely get away with builds like this. So I get my expo down, not to say it can't hold off other stuff, but it's it excels mostly against the no gas openings. Alright, put a pylon right t uh, next to that nexus so I can see any um, buckers go up. So if I need a chrono boost out of Zealot, I'll know in advance. Okay, uh, one mistake I did do this game. I went straight over to his, to, uh, to his base. I should have went through that top path in case there was a marine standing there. But I lucked out and he had it back some, so... It all worked out okay. Making a zealot. No need to chrono boost it, just gonna chrono boost probes because I saw he did expand. Now, here you definitely could chrono boost out a stalker, um, as I'm doing. I wanna go poke at his front, make sure he uh, builds a bunker, see if I can do any damage, that kind of stuff. So here, I'm going to go take that fast third. This will be the first time I've done this against him. Um, so I definitely went with the one gate, three base, um, because he's not going to pressure me really. He never does. So. But I should be fine to hold off anything off one gate anyway. It takes a, a long while for the moon to get here. Alright, so we're going to start adding gates soon. I keep chrono boosting probes, there's no reason not to. I'm trying to hunt down that SCV, being super active with that stalker, because I don't want him to scout that third base if I can help it. Now if you have the watchtower, you can usually see a marine on top of this ramp to get close to it. So I'm abusing it right now. Grabbing my second gas after two gates. I'll be adding a robo and a ton of gates shortly. Um, 
the Terran usually doesn't move out until they hit that 9.30 timing window. Where they have two medevacs and around, you know, 20 to 25 units. Uh, with stem and combat shields. That's usually when they push. So I have until then to get my uh, production down. But for now I need to be crimson probes. I'm checking for a marauder. That's what I'm looking for. I'm trying to get some idea of what his unit composition is. It's not showing me. Just adding those gates down. I want a total of eight. So it's now the around the eight minute mark. So I've got another minute and thirty seconds, which gives time for these gates to turn on. I'm going to crimson out a observer. A total of around three centuries. Um, you can get more than three if you're going gateway style like I am, but uh, I don't think it's necessary. Robo style, you don't really want to go more than three though. Um, you need all the gas for Colossi. Small supply block there. It's never good. Okay, I'm going to get my Forge and Twilight down. Twilight will be for a charge. Forge for plus one armor, of course. <clears throat> Always get plus one armor if you're going uh, Zealots. Zealots with charge. Okay, so my eight gates are online, and here he is starting to push. That Stalker should never die, but I think it does. Some mass units. I'm somewhat new to this build at this point in time, so I'm, I'm warping in units right now, but I'm not warping in the right kind. I'm warping in stalkers, but look at my Forge and Twilight, it's about to come up. I'm not going to have enough gas. So there I am with a, a useless Forge and a useless Twilight when I should have charge started. And that's really bad. It's a huge blunder. So I'm just going to cut into probes instead, since there's not much else to do with that money. I don't want to take my two gases at my third yet, that's way too early though. Alright, so I'm going to stay back, I'm going to split my units up. Hold position always, We're waiting for it. Those force down. I moved the stalkers forward to pick off the medevacs in case he tried to uh, pick them up and, and back over my force fields. He didn't get all the sentries there, yeah, but it's still a good fight for me. Pulling the zealots back so the stalkers can catch up. Finally getting charge started. It's going to be about like a minute or two late, unfortunately. Which makes this next engagement quite uh, inefficient for me. It's not cost effective at all. But me being on three base, I can still afford it. But with charge, this would be a one completely one-sided game. Um, as we'll see here in a second. Hey, I'm going to go Colossi. Let's see. Charge should be done right now, and this army would have no chance if those were charged zealots. But uh, I'm going to do what I can, pick off those medevacs, let Sten kill them. These zealots aren't going to catch up. So, Couldn't boost in that charge because I really need to finish. Okay, all the medevacs are now gone, so we can't keep uh, this up much longer. So, uh, when you're going Zealot Stalker, this doesn't happen much, but when it does, um, but it mostly happens early game. You want to keep refreshing the Zealots, so as soon as the Zealots die, you back up the Stalkers, and uh, re reinforce with more Zealots. Okay, I'm going to start my Colossi range. I'm pretty much at max probes right now. Don't want any more than this. Okay, charge just finished, so now I can finally actually engage them cost effectively. Okay, I'm gonna pick off this Medivax. If I can keep the star ports on Medivax instead of Vikings, it'll give me a, a timing window I can hit. Okay, 
second forge down once you feel safe. I probably should have added one sentry in there. Um, you don't want to completely replenish your sentry count in the game, but one sentry is definitely helpful with guarding shit. Okay, so I can finally take map control. Okay, you can move on to Templar. Should be using that observer more. You can go find his army. Let's go with upgrades. I think I should have added a few more gates before now, though. Need like three more gates. So I'm checking his army composition. I don't see any Vikings, so I'm thinking about doing like a three class I um, attack. This is why I added those cans to each base. There's nothing, uh, not a worse feeling than moving out than having two dropships enter your base. Um, it's pretty much GG if that happens, if you can't kill them. Alright, so I'm warping in Templar in case this attack fails for some reason. I'll have some Templar to come back to. It's always nice. Okay, you never want to attack into the natural, uh, especially on this map. He can have this really good arc and force you into this huge choke. If he's got ghosts, everything gets EMP'd. So, go hit that third. It is an orbital. I'm waiting for his army to move up. Not re engage. He's got quite a few Vikings, so I actually decided to back off. I only have like five stalkers. And the Protoss army gets stronger the bigger it gets. Um, so you you really want to play past them until you know you can take them uh, for the most part. Unless you're doing a timing attack or forcing a Zerg off um, three base or whatever. Okay, getting observer speed. Probably underused. Great. Okay, gonna attack with a Templar. Okay, some zealots uh, went to the mineral line, which is fine. So I can jump away at those SCVs. There, I had no vision because I lost that observer, so I just had to make them archons. Okay, so that attack maybe looked like it failed, but it's perfectly fine. I'm on a forty base now. Killed a bunch of SCVs. It's perfectly fine. So now I can just keep throwing stuff at him until he dies. Fifth base, because why not? Got the money. Whenever you're ahead, just keep expanding. Perfectly fine. I'm not using that gas geyser right there at that fourth. Kinda big. Focusing down those Vikings with the Stalkers. He has a very good spread right there. Um, you need to wait to use those storms until you know you can get a good hit off. We'll eventually die. <laughs> Keep throwing shit at him. Okay, so I know that the game is pretty much over, so I'm just going to push up the game. And oh. that's GG. Alright, so that'll be all for this uh, game. Um, if you have any sp specific questions, feel free to uh, message me on Battle.net. It's Cole Minigun 565 um, 
And be sure to check out Complexity Gaming, uh, the sponsors, and everything else. Uh, my Twitter, my uh, stream. Alright, thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. Um, hopefully there will be more. I'm sure there will be, so uh, be sure to look out for them. Thanks.